Here we go. Today there aren't going to be any jokes or nothing at, at all. Today we're going to talk serious. Lately I've been I've been looking at the news. Stuff really messed up stuff has been happening. First with Orlando then Turkey and then Baghdad. I was thinking that is terrible. No one that 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 should that's no horrible and it's heartbreaking to see that that kind of evil is happening in the world but on Tuesday something happened that made me say you know what I have had it with this you're pro you probably know what I'm talking about on Tuesday there was a man African American his name was Alton Sterling as they pinned him to the ground and shot him I saw it all, and I, I, if, I officially confirmed that the United States is lying to themselves, and you hear the national anthem? You, you, you are literally violating the last sentence of the, of the, of the national anthem. In the land of the free and the home of the brave. Those cops that shot him, they're not brave. They're cowards. That's why they shot him. Because they're cowards. You may have freedom of speech, but remember, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be held against you. How is that freedom of speech? They're literally anything you say is bad. That that's not freedom of speech. I believe that he does he didn't deserve that kind of brutality. I believe that no one deserves that kind of brutality. I'm really ashamed of what our nation has become. I'm very upset about how it's been growing and all the stuff that has been going on through through time but what messes me up the most is they're not doing anything about it there are innocent african americans being shot and hispanics too i heard there's this 14 year old kid my age he got shot for holding a toy pistol it didn't even shoot anything no one, no one's gonna do anything about this video maybe this video will get buried under many other videos but I don't care I just want the world to see my opinion of what's going down this is terrible that's happening in the world and it needs to end now because if if nothing happens, we're screwed. Let me let me do me a favor. Whoever is running for candidate, Clinton, if you're gonna become president, ban those who who are brutal cops, cause they do not operate well. Trump, I don't like you. If I could, I'll put you in a bag and throw you off a cliff. But I wouldn't, because you're a candidate for the presidency, and I'll most likely get arrested. But if you do become president, I don't know, I can't tell the future. Don't build a wall. Build an imaginary wall. And that imaginary wall is between the cops and the public. If there was a wall like that, there wouldn't be any problem. No innocent people would be murdered or people getting shot in front of their kids. There, there, there wouldn't be that. Um, um, so, yeah. I, uh, I just want to tell you that and anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, 
uh, subscribe to my channel and help me help the United States and police brutality and racism.